Welcome to Fishing Planet on Xbox. I'm Crazy Dave, and today we're going to be on it. San Joaquin Delta. Fishing for trophy and unique carps. Your uh, travel cost for today's lake is going to be $9,800. Now, it's a little expensive there, but there's a lot of money to be had. So let's look at our fishing license. See how much our fishing license is. Okay, you're going to need a California fishing license. Okay. And your advanced fishing license for one day is $8,000. For a three day, it's $22,800. I'm going to get the three day license because I'm going to be fishing here for a few days. So I want to have many days on the license. Uh oh, it didn't work. Let me go back and try that again. Three day fishing license. There we go. Now I got my fishing license. Now we can go to the map. Now we can go to the lake. Let's get ready to go to the lake. Alright, setups for today is going to be a Andrax 11-2 rod. Spiral double punch 5500. Oh, wait a minute, that's a 5500. Wait, this is the wrong rod. This is my secondary rod. It has that 5500 in it. This is my rod, 6500. Mono 32 pound test. The next series glow pear shaped bobber. A 3 out hook. And peas. We're going to be hunting, fishing with peas today. I like them peas. So that's today's setup. Let's get ready to go to the lake. And uh, we'll on in. Alright. Your spawn points are going to be fishing at the beaver. We're going to be fishing at fishing at the beaver. And we're going to spawn on into the lake. What you want to do is you want to go right over here into this corner right here. You want to set up your rod stand. Oh, I didn't cover my rod stand and keep net in, in the beginning of the video. So I'll tell you about it now. Okay, my rod stand is going to be a rod pod trio. It's a three rod stand. Set it up right there. And then my fish net is the fish castle large. Got a maximum single fish weight of 110 pounds. A total weight of 440. All right, what you want to do is you want to fish just to the right of that. I guess there are reeds out there. It's like an island of reeds out there. And you want to fish just to the left of them. Out there. And just cast as far as you can out there. And that's where you want to be. Right there. That's where you want it. And uh, get this other rod out. And we'll start fishing. I'm getting a bite already. We can get this rod out. If I get it out there, if I can get this pointer to work, there it goes. It's taking off. There it goes. Let's get it. Here we go. Fish on. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm still I still got a cough. I can't seem to keep from coughing on these videos. I'm trying to get these videos out and I still got a cough, so y'all have to excuse me. Hopefully one day I'll get rid of it. I've had a cough for over a month now. And now we got that other rod going off and I'm not going to be able to get to it. I got this one on here. This, this very easily could be a trophy. It's a good sized fish. I'm almost certain it's a trophy. I don't think it's unique. It ain't really pulling line. 
Can't really see my line wobble. Yep, ate my bait, ate my peas. 23 pounds, $1,012. And, uh, so, uh, you can catch white catfish here. That's the only fish I've caught other than the white catfish. I mean, other than the carp here on these peas. You do catch some white catfish on here. Looks like they're going to play with their food today. These carps are real bad about playing with their food. They'll bite on it a little bit and then leave it alone and nibble on it a while and and take it finally. Well, it's shut down all together. Maybe that one didn't like the taste of the peas. Okay, here we go again. Getting another bite. He is going to play with it or he's going to take it. He's just going to play with it. Yeah, you got to be patient with these carps. They don't want to play with their food. Oh, yeah. well, come on. Take it already. There he goes. There he goes. Let's get him. And we got him. Oh, this looks like it might be one of my catfish. This little, little, little one got a little one. Oh, wait a minute. It's full and it went back up there. There ain't no white catfish. Might just be a small one. Oh, wait a minute. It's clicking now. You might have a something. Might just have a something. It's clicking, taking a little line out. Uh, looks like we might have a small trophy. Mm -hmm. Not no big fish. I, like I said, I can't see my line wobble. With this fog and these clouds, I can't see my line. That's how I judge how big the fish is. is if we got a line wobble and how much of a line wobble we have. I know, he's taking it. Might be wrong. This might be a bigger fish. He's taking me out. This coin might be a unique. We might end up with a unique on here. Now he's coming back in. Well, let's see. I'm getting another bite on the other rod. I ain't going to be able to get it. This is taking line out. It's a good sized fish. If we can get him in here, we'll get that other one. Oh, no. We're not going to get him in. I'm gonna lose that one too. One thing about fishing with these rod stands, if you get a big fish on, you're liable to lose lose the next one because you can't get it in in time. Usually, if you uh, have a smaller fish, you can get get him in and get the next one. I don't know, he's got me out, out over a hundred yards again. We just might have a unique or a big big trophy oh ate my bait got me lost me some more peas yeah I, peas are thinking of losing peas i only got 27 peas man i uh i forgot to re-up my peas before i came in here i just did a a seven day scouting trip here and uh he used all my peas up. Now I ain't got no peas. I might have to go to the store and buy some more fee peas to finish this video. 27. It's 5.45 a.m. and I only got 27 peas. That ain't going to cut it. Well, is this fish going to come in? Maybe this is a unique. You're fighting. It's giving me a good fight. Man. Come on in here now. Come on in here. He don't want to come in that last 15, 20 yards. Here we go. What do we got? Trophy common carp, 24 pounds, 1,063, 
Sitting there looking at our rods again. Waiting for these fish. He had a bite, but he let it left it alone. Um yeah, it's, it's a little bit after seven. This is prime unique time. I usually catch my uniques between seven and seven thirty in the morning. So we might have a maybe we'll get a unique here in the next thirty minutes. We got a bite right now, he's playing with his food. Now we got the other one biting. Got both of them biting. Now let's see, ah, right, there they go, two different directions. Which one do I pick up? I'll just go for line one, rod one. And that's a good rod to pick. That's got a big fish on it. It ain't no eight, nine pounder there. That's a good sized fish. Not really pulling lines, so it might be a small trophy. And that other rod's gonna go off. And he ate my bait. These guys are getting a free meal off me, eating up all my peas. I only got 13 more peas left, and they're eating them up from me. I can't afford all these peas. That fish eat my peas up. Well, now he's coming in. He's coming in slowly. He's not pulling no line, but he's coming in slowly. Come on, baby. Come on in here. Come on in here. Let's see what we got. Trophy, Common Park, 24 pounds. I clicked off that one pretty quick. All right, it's 10.26 in the morning. The bike's died off. Looks like we're not going to be able to fill our bag. Again, I have a 444-pound bag, so it's hard to fill it with these little carps. But uh, I got to have that big bag. I'm going to be fishing for sturgeons. I got to have that big bag. Get some sturgeons. Um, because them sturgeons away in excess of 60 pounds. So, uh, I gotta have that big bag. Um, so it's hard to fill them. But we'll give it another minute or two, see if we, uh, see if we get a bite. If we don't, we'll go ahead and go check our, check our bag out. and check it out. Uh, yeah, I don't look like we're going to get a bite. Give it another minute or two. I'm, I'm real impatient. If I ain't getting a bite, I don't I want to give it up, but we're going to give it another minute or two. Alright, don't look like we're going to get a bite. Okay, guess we'll go. Let's check and see what time, what the bite looks like. See what the time, uh, chart looks like yeah i see your bite drops off at 10 o'clock and then there ain't no more fishing the rest of the day so we're gonna call it a day let's go to our fish keep see what we got okay we got a total of 350 pounds of fish we caught 28 fish for fourteen thousand seven hundred forty three dollars we got two white catfish and let's see what else we got here. See how many trophies we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks like nine. Yep, nine trophies. And the biggest one was 39 pounds for $1,150 and 407 XP. All in all, not a bad day of fishing. Um, $14,000 is pretty good. Well, I'm trying to get 10 likes on this video. So go ahead and like the video now while you're thinking about it. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know you were here. Any questions? 
or if you just got a, a fishing spot you want me to highlight uh, anything like that in the comment section and as always like, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with my oncoming content this is crazy Dave and next time we're gonna be at right here at San Juan Keen Delta fishing for white sturgeon until then We'll see ya.